Hello folks and welcome back to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So, the last thing we did was talk to this blind elderly gentleman over here who told us about one of the local mysteries about a tomb that was supposed to be somewhere near three waterfalls. And at the last uh, end of the last episode, we did not have a marker for him, but I did take a guess that it would be through here and somewhere near one of these lakes. And look at this! Now we actually have a marker over there. So, I am gonna go see if we can find a tomb. Since this is a Tomb Raiding game. Oh. So why am I carrying this weapon? Hopefully my DLCs haven't messed up again. It is a bit uh, weird because it seems like I am on a fairly unstable internet connection and every time it disconnects when I launch the game it does not load my Enhanced edition, or what they, whatever they call it, and that is um, a bit strange because I feel like it should definitely be just a regular thing on my on my console. Okay. I'm guessing that's three waterfalls, and yeah, we are on the right path. I am not quite sure where to mount this. I mean, it seems like we are going in the water after all, so let's just do it. Is there any materials? Yep, yeah, there it is. And a challenge to nearby. Okay. Oh yeah, I have the yellow markings and everything. We are definitely on the right track. Because we're not carrying the right shotgun, we're not carrying the rifle that we used, and I don't think we are even using the correct bow from where we ended the last episode. This is very curious. Didn't think these places would be trapped. Caught a spear through the abdomen. Hurts to breathe. Pray for me. Okay, so there are definitely uh, oh traps God, around here. Oh what is that smell? Underwater entrance it is. Oh, when we got those moray eels, yeah, they can sort right off. They are very annoying. They don't hurt us too bad, but they do prompt an annoying QTE, which does take up uh, a fair amount of uh, our oxygen supply.
This Maya god is very dark brown, almost black, with black rimmed eyes and facial features that seem to be melting at their extremities. This can only be Exua. He's the patron god of the cacao bean, which accounts for his coloring. Also, because ancient Mesoamericans used those beans as currency, Exua became by extension a god of merchants and of trade. Interestingly, when he first appeared in the law, he was a god of conflict. And it's not like uh, have to drain the room. Any kind of currency has ever been a problem. Can pull this down from here. Can. Is this supposed to be one of the beheaded gods of the underworld? Okay. Sweet. Oh, so we filled that thing with uh, water, and that opened the door. Cool. We are sliding. Oh, piranhas. Wait. Little bastards. They have been the death of us before. Okay, this looks like something we need to cut. Yep. And as soon as that is up, oops. I guess we are going on top of it and Oh yeah. Just moving just using it to get over here. I thought we might have to raise the water level to get it somewhere. The flood basin. Let's just hit that up, just to make sure that we can fast travel here if we want to. This is incredible. Yeah, this is um, quite the system. So... Have to find a way up. I guess too. I just want to make sure that I don't get anything. Piranhas are feeding on the corpses. But shouldn't they leave me alone then? Okay. So cut stuff, cut stuff, cut all the stuff. Can I cut this? There we go. Okay, so now it needs to have some platforms to keep us away from the ground. Ouch, get off me! Get off me! Little bastards! What? Why? Why? I just keep getting more. This is a. Um, Get off. Okay. Have to find a way up. So what does this do then? Pulling won't keep the gate open. Oh. Okay. I think I see. Oh, no, get off me. Damn it. Have to find a way up. Yeah. And I see a way to do that, I think. So we need to maybe mount that to the wheel over there and then crank it up from that range. Okay. Can I get up there? No. Uh, can I get up here? No, still Have to find a way up. Yeah, thanks. Get around the piranhas. Anything that I can have to find a way up. Shoot an arrow into to get this thing moving. Okay. 
Oh. Maybe I could just do that. To lower the water level. <laughs> Impossible. I can't carry any more. I am Trilo Serrano, and these are likely the last words I write. Andreas Lopez, or Angel de la Cruz, as he has called himself these last years, has finally and fully gone insane. His demands have grown, becoming more grueling and grotesque as we labor to build his crypt. The construction is almost complete. I know I will die when it is done, Lopez in a brief moment of clarity told me himself. Damn that box. Damn what it has done to the man I once, and sadly still, admire. Alrighty. Okay, so... I can move this. What does that do? Oh, it turns... Uh, this thing! Okay. Do I need that at the moment, or...? To lower the water level. Yep, and I see. Well, sort of see how. Have to lower the water level. When storms crash and rivers swell. Direct the waters to quench the thirst of the gods who toil above and below. Um, um, so my thought was that maybe I could move one of these over here so I could get up to that part. But Pull this will take you out in the water at all? No. Have to lower the water level. Yeah. With you so far. Okay. Have to lower the water level. Maybe I need to swim down there. Let's see. Let's see if there's anything I can do with this thing. No. Does not seem like it. I'm sure there's something very obvious that I am completely missing. Can't swim on this. Can't pull it to waters. Oh, did see something shiny though. What about uh, through here? Just some collectibles. This seems to be some kind of primitive sculpture of a human. Okay, we found that uh, three times now. Is there 
nowhere else that I can get up. This is uh, a bit curious. Oops. Have to lower the water level. Yes, I see that. And that's where I want to go. Before there was something marked. Damn it. Something marked in here. What was that? To lower the water level. Oh. Something else we can break into. Oh, okay, so it just loops us around for the exit. Get that part. What I am apparently struggling with is uh, how to get to that effect. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, now I feel pretty stupid. Yeah. That's how we got in here. We filled one of these things up with water. And it opened something. Continuous strain on the door. Okay. But we were on the right track. I feel that much. Oh, and okay, now it comes down. I'll take the strain. parts of this thing but I 
let's say she's taking it uh, pretty casually when she gets out of the water with piranhas everywhere. Oh, it won't take the strain because it keeps on moving. So maybe I think I figured this out. And uh, everyone watching this is probably like, yeah, I did so too, but 10 minutes ago, moron. Okay. As it did, I do apologize for that. Wow. But then again, most puzzles seem obvious once you figure it out. Have to lower the water level. Uh, no, I don't think we need to lower the water level anymore. All full up. Can't carry any more. Have to lower the water level. Would you please? We're here, we did it. Okay, so charged arrow deal more damage against armored enemies. Pretty cool. Now to get out of this horrid smelling place. Yes, please. I'm guessing we're doing this this way. First we've got. I should be close now. Whoops. So... Nope, it doesn't want us to go up there. It's fine. Okay. So, how about next then? Oh, this is where we come out. Okay. Pretty neat. Let's see if we can just dash by this bastard. That's weird. That should not happen. Okay. So, next thing on the agenda is to figure out how to get out of this massive hole. Because uh, we just jumped right in here. Oh, maybe it's just that. Okay. But before we go there, let's see what else is around here. This seems like a neat place to hide a lot of stuff. Oh yeah. Whoops. Thank you. This pendant is decorated in the Incan tradition, but the effigy clearly appears to be an Aztec warrior. That shouldn't be possible. Mm. 
several hundreds have renounced their pagan beliefs and turned to the teaching of Catholicism. Our work here is different. The heathens must learn the language and then the teachings. Most are not receptive, but only come looking for conversion to the true Lord from fear of what might happen to them if they do not. No matter, all paths lead to God's light. In the evenings, I rest easily, comforted by the conviction we will save these poor lost souls. Excerpt from the journal of Veltran, Ordinius Predicatorum. Okay. It seems a bit weird that the uh, swim fast and make arrows on the run are uh, prompted to the same button. That definitely makes it so I'm pretty sure. That you guys see it as well. A lot of times it seems like I'm trying to uh, craft arrows, but it's just because I haven't hit the water yet. Okay. Mm. Not really anything worth going for. Yeah, thanks. But how do I get out of here? I mean... My best guess is there is no way to climb up that hole. So we will have to find another way then. Worst case scenario, I'm gonna run back into the tomb and then we'll just... Fast travel out of here. I see it. It actually worked. It's been a while since we've seen one of those. So, a few things to reveal. Pretty good. We'll look out for all of that when we come back through the city. And my best guess is we should go around. Seems like that anchor point over there is only there, well, in the uh, second game we got some broadhead climbing arrows that we could fire into all sorts of uh, different surfaces, which was really helpful. Okay, so skill points. Three available. And we just got this. Pretty good. Well, then let's do some poison grenades. Yeah, there's definitely something off. All of my DLC weapons is not here. This is uh, really curious. But let's go back to Manu, talk to him, see what he has to say. Then I'll probably take a short break and then when I come back I will have figured out, hopefully will have figured out what is wrong with my internet connection. Because this is uh, kind of annoying. Hey Manu. I hope you've shined up those dancing shoes Manu. I found the ruin. It was Maya, an ancient aqueduct. It was wonderful, just as you'd imagined. Sabía que lo haría. Ahora, 
Cuénteme todo. The ruins had flooded because of the earthquake. I swam through tunnels teeming with peril. Maldito pez peligroso. A adelante. I found a vast cavern and a stone tower with massive heads carved into its sides. Los señores de Shivalva, ¿verdad? Increíble. ¿Qué más? It must have been an aqueduct of some kind. And you'll never believe this. Most of the machinery is still functional. Water wheels, three men high, turned as smoothly as the day they were built. It was amazing to see Manu, to be so close to all that history where no one has set foot in hundreds of years. Ah, puedo verlo, puedo olerlo, sentirlo, saborearlo. Hizo llorar de felicidad a este anciano. No tengo palabras para agradecerle. Qui quiero que tenga algo. Manu, I, I couldn't. Insisto, por favor. Es la primera reliquia que encontré. Es hermosa y compleja. Un cráneo decorado. Quiero que la tenga alguien que explora con la misma pasión que lo hacía yo en mi juventud. Nunca deje morir su curiosidad ni su capacidad de maravillarse. I won't. Thank you, Manu. An adhesive made of tree sap and powdered bone hold the jade and other gems in place within the wearer's teeth. A crude drill, perhaps made of obsidian, would have been used to delicately carve out the notches required to hold the jewelry in place. Okay. Oh, and we got a lot of XP for another level. Pretty good. Okay, so... Tell you what, guys, since um, I am having some issues with the DLC stuff, I think I'm gonna take a break here. And when we come back, I will try to see if I can find the tomb down here. Because tombs are, after all, a pretty big part of what we're doing around here. So, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment. And until the next one, take care, guys. Bye.